Welcome to the unboxing of the Hobsco Hob Alpha Step Over. It's like a mountain bike, like type e-bike. But uh, before we get started, I guess I uh, kind of want to catch up. It's been like a crazy, crazy week uh, past week. I went to Texas and did a lot of really cool, crazy things. Uh, these here join, uh, joining me on the live stream. So everybody say hi. Hey She's guys. just grabbing her mic right now. Who's all in the chat? I want to say hi to everybody before we get started on this. We have Lee Epps. What's up, Lee? Actually, I haven't seen Lee Epps in a while. <laughs> Manchild BW. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, so I took a, a trip to Texas, went to the Houston, the big old Houston Suron Mega Ride. There was like a hundred and, how many Surons did I say? 120 or over 160 or something crazy like that. But there was like almost like 200 people there. I just finishing up on that video. It's gonna be like a little two-part thing where we ride in the daytime, then uh, chill out, and we uh, head up to We Code It and hang out there for like really cool raffles and people just doing wheelies all over the place. It was an awesome, awesome, epic time there at the Houston Mega Ride. Uh, thanks to Scott for putting that together. I can't believe you put that together like all yourself because that was pretty crazy, crazy event. What else did I do? What else did I do, D? Electrify Expo. Went to Electrify Expo. I actually hung out with uh, Dylan Thompson pretty much like my whole trip down there. We uh, hung out at the Houston Mega Ride. He let me borrow his Super 73 for that whole ride, which was really cool of him. And I told him anytime he's up in Delaware, he can ride any, any of my bikes. And Were you going to say something? <laughs> Loon said, I'm jealous, bro. Wish I could have been there. Oh, dude, it was so crazy just having people wheeling all over the place. And you guys are going to be uh, surprised at some of the wheelies I got in that video. Like, my, my wheelie game is getting a little bit better on the Super, at least for now. But I'm going to start turning it to the, to the Suron. I went there actually earlier today, took a little break from uh, the video editing, did some wheelies on the Super, then switched over to the Suron and actually felt some good ones. So maybe I'll be... I'll be uh, Doing some videos on that soon. Death Rock's also in the chat. Death Bubba Rock. Shitty. What's said, going What's on, up, my Bubba? Brother? This is actually the first torque sensing e bike I've ever had on the channel. Every other e bike is like a cadence sensor. So I'm actually excited about that. Um, so, what else? We went to the Electrify Expo. Uh, Dylan and I just walked around there, hung out with all, all the different brands. That was a lot of fun. You then went to Kill Tony? Went to, my first comedy show ever was actually a Kill Tony show. Um, thanks uh, to Red Band for uh, the, the invite there. That was actually a lot of fun uh, for being the first comedy show. It was like the greatest experience of my entire life. I could not believe I was there when I was watching it. And I'm, I'm like just pretty new to Kill Tony, but I've been binge watched enough to know about it. And then after that, we went to the Secret Show on Thursday, and Dylan came to that one with me, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, but at the Kill Tony show, uh, who, who was there? Uh, Steve-O was there, which was pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty neat. And Joe Rogan and Chris Rock. I don't think they were there that night. I'm not sure. You said uh, they were, I but you missed I thought them. they were, but I think they were like across the street at, the, at a different comedy show or maybe a restaurant or something. They were, they were close, but... Todd Boy said, hey. What's going on? How you doing? If you guys are interested in this bike before I, I unbox it, make sure you check out those link, that link down below for this. If uh, the Hopsco isn't for you, definitely check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. <laughs> we all good? All right, I'm going to get started on the unboxing. So let's see if we're going to be doing a little bit of struggling with Shreddy and Didi. But uh, I'm going to try to pull the bike straight up, even though my back is a little messed up. Let's see how strong he is, guys. Uh, here. My favorite staples. Might need Dee Dee's help. <laughs> Neighbors are like, what the hell? Oh, you have scissors? <laughs> no, scissors. I mean, I could probably like pry it or something. Oh, they got this glued and everything. Holy moly. It's already struggling with Shreddy. <laughs> Struggling to open the box. <laughs> Dude, they did put like a nice little uh, glob of glue on there. Yeah, we're ripping this box apart, guys. <laughs> Dude, they really, really, really did a job on this one. I'm showing this box who is boss <laughs> until those staples get me. 
right, we're good, we're good. Halfway there. <laughs> D, have you ever seen me struggle with a box this much? Bubba Shitty said I would buy the merch struggling with Shreddy. <laughs> oh my God, are you, oh look at these staples, D. This is, this is brutal. Todd boy, not the kind of shredding you usually do. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Death Rock said, how many days were you in Texas? How many what? How many days were you in Texas? I was there for like five days, right, D? Five or six days? Something like that? No, you mom. were there for eight days. Eight days? He's like, what? I had to force him to come home. <laughs> Dude. Dude, this is like globs of glue. It's crazy. Todd Boy said, you're, you're a beast, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. It's like one of those layer like, by layer. <laughs> people that like wrap the presents so they like watch you struggle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, staples upon staples. I wish we had a fast forward button, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's pretty fun to watch me struggle, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's that Sauron Mega Ride though was so freaking cool seeing so many modded Surons there. It was insane. That we coated shop, they do such a good job at modern modern bikes over there. Dude, seriously? This is crazy. <laughs> These just looking at me laughing. Alright! Let's go, let's go. Dude, high five, bro. <laughs> That's you guys in the audience. Whew. I'm glad I didn't turn up that heat, D. Remember, I was like, man, it's a little chilly in here. <laughs> All right. Lean it down and show you guys. It looks like I'll be able to pull that straight up. More foam. Oh, we Watch don't even foam. know what color it is or anything, so it's a surprise. Mm, it looks. All right. So, of course, you guys got to watch out for these staples or they'll get you. Watch out for flying foam, DD. Maybe I should grab a trash bag. Yeah, the last box, I think I sliced it from the sides and I like, I shouldn't have done that because I like stuffing everything back in the box. So it was like that, a hassle getting everything out of here. Let me bring this back a little bit. I'm just what are you guys see. doing for Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah, I forgot Thanksgiving's pretty soon. I wonder what I gotta put together on this beast. All right, let's see, the tire is, everything's like kind of strapped together and attached. I don't see the chargers or anything. Oh, right here, there's another, There's a box right here. My guess it's probably like a three amp charger. This is a 48 volt, uh, 750 watt motor. I think it's a 20 amp hour battery. And the charger is rated at three amps. All right. Can Treddy lift this without hurting himself, without actually stabbing himself? Hold on. Let me get on that side where the staples are not. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Struggling. No, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Oh, there's another little box in there. That side or Okay. I was oh, I gonna see lay the color. This really quick. It's like a charcoal metallic gray. It looks cool. Oh, I thought it was black. Oh, that's cool looking. Dig it, dig yeah, it. Yeah, it's nice. Do I have to like take this out to like a, a mountain bike course or something, like a white clay creek? I might have to call Feedy up and go for a fun little mountain bike ride. He's gonna have to teach me how to jump this thing or something. What is in Top here? Top Boy said I like the color. Yeah, it looks cool. I definitely like it. Bigger, big tires. What are these, like a 20, 26 inch? Yeah, 26 said, by fours. Where's the knife? That's what I was wondering. Right here, right here. <laughs> when he started opening the box, the guy on the couch was alive. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm eating on Thanksgiving. Death Rock said, working on Thanksgiving. Oh no, working. I hope you're still grabbing down though, brother. Let's check out the color. Oh man, when I was working on the, uh, the mega ride vlog for like our first ride, my mic, I like I accidentally unplugged it, but it's still pretty awesome and you can hear me talking, but the rest of the ride, it's, it's pretty awesome at nighttime. 
Okay, we got kickstand. Heck yeah, I don't know what this is, but I think it... Uh, I have no idea. I think I'm gonna have to read the directions for once. And quick release for the front. Oh, lots of tools, okay. Oh, that's nice. It's always nice when they send the tools. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. Pew! All right, so we're gonna start taking everything off. This is the fun part where I can definitely answer any kind of comments or questions about the Houston Mega Ride, Electrify Expo, any kind of cars that I rode. Uh, What'd you ride at I Expo? Drove, I drove a Volvo, an electric Volvo. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, I rode in like a little cart. Uh, it's like this like, I don't know, it's like a two wheel cart and you're like sitting in the front and I sat in the front like holding uh, the 360 stick and Dylan was, was pedaling and I was holding my camera. So it's, it's gonna be a fun, fun uh, video once I get that all edited. I think Dylan's comes out tomorrow. Cowboy said it's crazy that disc brakes are now on everything. Absolutely awesome. Check out these tires. It's like, I've never seen anything like this. Like it has like a little, like an oily feel to it or something. Like shiny. Shiny. Have you guys ever seen something like that? Show us the side. Like it oh, yeah. does feel like it's like wet almost. It's weird. <laughs> it doesn't smell like oil or anything. Did you smell anything? What from inch fatties are they? These are 26 by fours. Oh, the, the suspension looks pretty nice. Cool. All right. Do you, do you guys think I could wheelie this? I've never like wheelied a bike with a torque sensor. So maybe I could actually pedal wheelie this. I'll have to actually learn how to manual also. Altima said they look gnarly. Paltima's in here. What's up, Paltima? I hung out with uh, Run Playback at the Houston Mega Ride. He was awesome. He was talking to Batcha. Very, very nice things. Very nice things. Okay, okay. Undressing. <laughs> What's up, skeleton? How you doing over there? Is that Shred Dead or Dead Shred? What do you want to call it, D? <laughs> oh, I want to call him Shred Dead. <laughs> Mr. Bones. Oh, here's the display. Okay, okay. Top Boy said, I want to see you try. Also said, cool, Rick is a great guy. I just got back from a ride myself. Nice. Where'd you ride? What'd, what'd you do? How many miles? Robert Wozniak. Hey, a fat tire bike. I love it. I'm actually stoked to try it. Like, it's, it's a mountain bike, right? Right? So I got to treat it like a mountain bike. I'm going to beat the crap out of this thing. Wait till I take it on a review. I'm going to take it out to the, those little hills and just jump it. It's going to be fun. So you said this is the first torque sensor Yeah, e so the, I've never had an e-bike with a torque sensor. So a torque sensor really like it kind of like, they, they, what do they call it? Like a smart torque sensor? I don't know what that really means, but what you push into it is what it kind of gives you in the pedal assist, if, if you understand what I mean. Like a, a cadence sensor, once you start pedaling, it just kind of like full power into whatever speed it, it goes to. But this is actually you're kind of like working out still while it's giving you assist and i'm not sure if it has a i like that because i like to get a workout when i ride does is this going to be the first e-bike without a throttle for me oh no what the heck is this thing it's got like a thumb throttle thing here on the left side could that be like a regen brake i don't know i don't know i got to read all the specs on this thing guys that seems You'll have to see what you neat. do the first run review. Do you guys know what that little thumb thing is? Is it a thumb brake, a thumb, or is it a thumb throttle just on the left side? And supposedly this battery has a light built into it. I don't know if you guys ever seen anything like that before. Top boy said, call skeleton Ted Shreddy. Whoa, look at that frame, that looks nice. He's, oh yeah, I like that color a lot. That looks cool. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't hear what he said. I'm sorry. Yeah, it looks nice. I didn't hear the comment. I can't wait to see it put together, <laughs> sitting up. Let's clean it up. He yeah. said, yesterday my fat tire e-bike battery caught on fire while I was riding. No Too freaking Too cold way. in Indiana, I guess. 
No way. How cold was it? Paltima, step in on that. I don't know. Uh, what brand of bike was how it? How that could happen. Luckily, I got the, uh, the little space heater on in the, in the garage, keeping the, the batteries at least 55 in there. He said I use my thumb throttles on the left. Yeah, I wonder if it, it might be a thumb throttle. We'll see. I still have yet to get cut in one of these, right? Oh, Death Rock said any Black Friday e-bike or battery sales. You're going to do a post about that and you also do a short about that. Yes, yeah, Shy Batteries, they're having a really awesome sale going on. Shy <laughs> Batteries. They call it Shy. They, look, I went to the, uh, the, <laughs> uh, the expo, Electrify Expo, and I was like, it's Chai batteries, right? I'm saying it right in the videos, right? And they're like, nah, man, you're saying it wrong. It's Chai battery. I'm like, I thought it was Chai Town. They're like, no, it's Chai Town. Do you guys know? <laughs> but it should be Chai, right? Like, it sounds cooler. So you have a, he has a link for Chai battery in the description of this video and all his videos. Do you guys want to check out their sale through his off. link? There's definitely a lot of sales going on. I think a lot of people are probably having like free shipping, stuff like that. I have yet to pop my tire too, like on a live, like, oops. Ultima, my ride was only eight miles, but fun. I had the bike running lightweight with my best Tesla battery. Oh, nice. The Tesla battery was on the bike? Yeah, they make Tesla cells. Uh, Todd Boy said it was in the 20s. I, it was a used bike from Area 13. Ooh, I never heard of that. But damn, it, it should still be able to handle it as long as like, I don't know, I, I, I still think that's, that's okay. The Hulk Smash said hello. What's up? How are you doing? I hope you're having a great, what is today? I don't even know, Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. I've been oh. editing, that's all I've been doing and it's, it's putting me to sleep a lot. <laughs> He's trying to get out the Mega Ride videos for you guys. Yeah, and then I got to get out to do some reviews on these bicycles. So the uh, so you guys remember the Frigo? I know. I hope uh, the people that are um, interested in the Frigo are in here because uh, the black Frigo, I had some problems with it. Remember the front rotor was a little bent. Um, I had problems with the derailleur, and then the uh, the back cassette, like with the gears, like it w it was like kind of moving. Called them, uh, told them the problem. They sent me another. Frigo F1 Pro, but the green, like the army green one. So I'm gonna unbox that and then I'll do a review on that and let you guys know all about that bike. Hopefully this one came in, uh, that the Frigo, the green one came in better shape than the, the first one. This is not Frigo, this is Hobscos. This is the Hobscos. <laughs> so far so know. good with this bike. So far, yeah, it's looking, looking good. I do love the look of this frame. It's, pretty beefy and they said something about the welds are kind of like smoothed out to look a little cleaner so we'll look we'll look at that and then we got to turn the stem around all that all that okay so I got to lift it up there's a few more things I got to unclip and then we can start the build so it caught on fire when I put the bike in its highest power it was an older battery I'm sure still wow. was hecking scary how the heck could that happen Potama explain to us <laughs> And where's the battery located? Because sometimes the batteries are like right between your legs or like on the down tube, under your butt. <laughs> That's always sketchy. Paltima said it is four degrees Fahrenheit. In use is usually the lower safe limit for e-bike batteries. Oh, four degrees Fahrenheit is in use is usually the lower safe limit for e-bike batteries. Okay. It may have had an internal issue though. Man, that's so scary that that can happen. That is so scary. First, now I thought he was saying here. it was four degrees where he was. <laughs> Dude, I am not ready for super cold. Even though it was like so cold in Texas. I left Delaware and it was 70 degrees. Landed in Houston, 43 degrees. I was so confused. Uh-oh, I get in trouble. I get in trouble. <laughs> You guys Keep see what I did? What I do? Off the couch. <laughs> what I do wrong, guys? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Um, Loon said, "Shreddy, if you have time after the show, check IG. Just okay. need to chat for a sec. Everyone, hit that like, show love." Thank you, brother. There we go. 
Todd Boy said it, Toad Boy, <laughs> it was on the down tube mounted. Ooh, that's scary, that's scary. Did you get uh, injured at all or are you okay? No crotch fire? Should I put the pedal on? Remember we did that with the last bike? Put the pedals on first. Or no, here is the kickstand. Does this one go on the back? Kickstand first. Yeah. Eric Gardner said, hey. What's going on? How you doing today? Yeah, this one goes on the back too, just like the other ones. Remember I was like, why does that look weird? <laughs> why does that look so weird? Ultima said bad BMS can cause thermal runaway under heavy load or the same can happen on old batteries that may have been overcharged too many times. Oh. So you don't want to overcharge your battery? No, never. That's bad. You're not supposed to do a full charge? I'm learning things every day. <laughs> this one on the back, on the inside, hold on. Toad Boy said, I have a Watts Wagon Hydra coming soon. I hope it's worth the money. I did not get injured, but if I didn't immediately check, I would have. Holy crap. <laughs> Death Rock, like Chai Battery, 55H, Onyx RCR Battery, price 2,500, sale price 1,925, save 500, that's not bad. You guys use Eddie's Chai Battery discount code in the description. 5% off, use code TREDDY, or just click that link down below. Or just use this link and it'll... <laughs> Help support the channel. Oh, it looks like it does go behind. Okay, let's see, let's see if I'm right. I think the pedal, or the, the pedal, the kickstand goes behind and I screw the screws from the front to grab it, to pull it towards it. Could I be wrong? Yes. Did I read the instructions? No. Could I find instructions? No. <laughs> Did it come with instructions? I don't know. I'm not gonna say no, cause I didn't, I didn't search. I did not search. Yeah, I think I'm right. Definitely goes like that for sure, but. Have you guys seen kickstands go in this spot before? In this orientation? I'm just gonna grab it by hand. So the boy said, have you ever rode Watt Wagon's Hydra or Luna Cycle's EMTB shreddy? I have not yet. He said, I have. How do you like it? There we go. I definitely wanna try a lot of uh, Luna Cycle's e-bikes. I have to go visit them sometime when I'm out in Cali. JR13, hello everyone. Hope go. all is well with you guys. How are you doing? All right, there we go. There we go. Can I put that down? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Toad Boy said, when he said I have, he meant that he's seen the kickstand there, lol. <laughs> oh, but he was saying he's ridden. Yeah, we just had another bike like this last week that the kickstand was there too. So what else did I try at the uh, Electrify Expo? This, this funny jackrabbit bike, this like little mini super small bike that didn't have pedals. It just had like uh, pegs and supposedly you can like fold it up and throw it in a little like case and bring it on airplanes with you as carry on. Imagine ripping around in airports with that thing. Toboy said the Hydra can apparently go 40 miles an hour. Oh, wow. He's waiting to get. Supposedly this bike can only, like, or can go about uh, 28 miles an hour, but you have to uh, go into the app. There's an app for this bike, and then you unlock it for the US, US speeds. Toad Boy, if you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to check out like all of Eddie's e-bikes. He has listed in the description. He has like discount links for each one, but he has videos on all the bikes that are listed. And some of them, what's your fastest e-bike? My Surron. How fast does it go? Uh, we can probably hit about 70 miles an hour on mine. But don't tell uh, the popo -po that. <laughs> don't tell the police that. Oh, Ultima said he, by overcharged battery, he means left on the charger for hours and hours when the battery's already full. This is when dendrils form, which are crystalline growths inside the battery with sharp spikes. 
Okay. Science. <laughs> um, I feel like this is the protect, like something like the derailleur or something. Do you guys know what this is for? Or before I start searching for the directions, it looks like something that protects like something on the side. I know Paltima knows right away. Come on, Paltima. <laughs> oh, I still haven't taken off a few more things. JR13, they're so dumb looking, I think the jackrabbit. <laughs> <laughs> they're funny, I like them. They're, they're, they're actually a lot of fun to ride. It was, it was a fun little bike. That's, that's the derailleur guard. That's what I thought. It looks like I might have to take something off to like put that on. It looks like, yeah. Do we need to go help him, guys? Let me go over there and see. <laughs> you got, let me turn this around. It might be easier. Ooh, don't do that. Moon said that's a nice looking bike. I like that color. Let's see how light. It's not super duper heavy either. It's nice that we got this carpet in here to protect the, the floor. It's not supposed to be in here. <laughs> All right, so where's that little piece? Just shifting around here. Okay, so here's the derailleur. Like, it looks like I might have to take off the nut and just put it there, like where that is. Or, no, that's too high. But there is like a little screw or a little mount there. Yeah, I think I have to take off the back. Probably put it there. That doesn't make sense. Or here? Hmm. JR13 said I yes. Could take that off. Yay? Nay? What or do you just guys leave, think? leave it off? <laughs> leave it off. Can we just leave it off? <laughs> you can, right? Hold on, let me take the rest of this stuff off. You know, it's funny, I have those little, uh, the tool for taking these uh, zip ties off. But I didn't grab it. Toboy said, I just subbed with this channel, but I've been watching your channel for a little over a year. Good stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And thank you for joining the live. Struggling with Shreddy Live. <laughs> Maybe I keep my hand away from this. Toby said, just leave it off. Loon said, I think that's where it goes, but just leave it off. Yeah, I don't feel like messing with, with it right now. Cause I gotta put the front tire on already. What is it for? It just protects like this, like probably when you're mountain biking, riding crazy out, out in the woods. Like you do? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Toad boy, the shreddy struggle shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh. Look at me, I'm like, oh, they don't come with instructions. <laughs> Dude. There they are. It's like when I, when I built a bike that was broken in half. Remember that, guys? I didn't even notice. I built the whole freaking bike. And, uh, yeah. Limelight Images, NYC, just got here. How awesome was Texas? I've been seeing oh. some cool videos from the ride. Texas was awesome. My, my videos are coming soon. I'm, I've been editing the heck out of them. Um, Part one should be done tomorrow. I'm almost actually done part two, so let, let's get these out, and uh, I'm excited for you guys to see them. He's been working on the videos for a few days. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so tired of just like, uh, I, do, I do a lot of editing on my phone, and ugh. So supposedly the, the light comes, or the battery comes with a light. <laughs> and the light does come with a battery, I guess. That's cool. We'll have to see that like in person. Yeah, and I've already downloaded the app. Oh, look at it. Look, look at the designs on there. It looks cool. I like their little uh, design here and the way the frame is designed too. It has really cool shapes to it. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. Yeah, I like how it's like metallic and then their logo looks cool. It's like shiny. Nice color. Yeah. The light reflects off of it really good. I looked at the instructions. That's, that's how much I can uh, pay attention to that. Okay. What should I do next, guys? Should I put the front tire on? I think so. JR13, does that bike have a dropper post seat? 
No, are you talking about like it has like a button where you like it goes up and down? Just one of these bad boys. Landlight Images said, hurry up, LOL, <laughs> with your videos. I know I want to see them too. Oh, they're coming out. They're coming out. He has a lot of videos to put up. I do. I have so I have videos from still when Chris was here, so. Because you tried out like what, like the fastest are on and stuff. Like he has videos of trying different bikes and stuff. It's really oh, cool. Oh yeah. Yep. The pink Suron with the KO motor com uh, controller combo. Whoo, that thing is freaking fast, guys. I can't wait to see, to, for you guys to see that. I tried a, a super awesome modded out Super 73 uh, that had like the golf station paint job that uh, Mike did himself. Like he he's freaking awesome. The work he does on those bikes are awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see his bikes. What's that, DD? Yeah, Toad Boy thing. said, Dead Shreddy's becoming a fossil. <laughs> Dead Shred. All right, I'm just getting handlebars on so I can flip it and get the, the wheel on. Moon said, wow, Shreddy's eight days in Texas. I was thinking four days. It, it was a, a lot of fun, man, a lot of fun, but I still couldn't believe how cold it was. We actually booked it the night before he left. It was like last minute. I had no, no plans. It was just... Total last minute, but I'm so glad I went. I'm so glad I went. I would have been so sad if I didn't go, D. I know. That's why I made you go. You're the best manager ever. <laughs> best manager girlfriend ever. All right. Oh, let me actually do this. Let's put all the screws back. Gib just said, what's up, Shreddy, D, and Shredheads? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> 50s cap. Hey, D, how many bikes does this make shreddy? Mm. Too many. <laughs> He's going to have to get rid of some mm. of these after he does the mm -hmm. first ride and reviews and speed tests and terrain tests and range tests. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, Manchild oh. said, Shreddy McSkate, did you see you storm shock mantis roll? Mm -mm. Roar? <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh, I don't hear it. He said he hasn't seen that. I haven't seen that yet, no. <laughs> yes. His mouth was full of tools. Oh no, I lost one, one, one. Gibbs said, "What do we eat tonight? Anything good?" Arroz con pollo. We ate some uh, Puerto Rican food. It was really, really good. Oh, yeah, no, his mom. Really he saw his mom when he was in Texas. So we made her a rose con pollo. Arroz, so, con po arroz con pollo. It's really good. Arroz con pollo. <laughs> oh no! It looks like my display is broken. So I don't think the bike is going to work until I get a new display sent out. But I'll still get the. What's wrong with it? The bike built. <laughs> I mean, it might still work. It looks like nothing came disconnected, but it's it's totally snapped. Oh, that's fine. So they'll just send another one out? I would hope so. Man, there's like a lot of stuff going on on this handlebar right now to like, to get it mounted. So I think I'm going to take off the display to get that on. Loon said, like, great job, D. Like a tight, tight space. To Toad get Boy, there. I like the rib frame for his pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, it sounds delicious. Save there. any for me. We had leftovers. We just ate them all tonight, too. We had it last night. It's very, very good. Very Loon good. said, how's mom doing? I bet she missed you. Oh, yeah. I was so sad leaving her. I definitely cried like a little baby. Dude, this is definitely struggling with Shreddy. I'm pretty bummed that the that broke. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off the display so I can get the handlebar mounted anyways. Make life a little bit easier. Manchild said, what would you say is a lot of miles on the Super 73 RX? Man, I put, I think I put like 2,000 miles on the one I have now. Are, are you planning on buying a used one or something? What are you doing now? I'm just taking off the display, off the handlebars, because... Look how much stuff is on the handlebars, and I'm trying to get the bars mounted, and it's just like really hard to get around it, so <laughs> I'm going to do this. And plus, the display is broken, so if I can just get it off now and 
get the new one sent out. Gibbs just said, Struggling with Shreddy is my favorite spinoff show. <laughs> it should always be a struggle then, huh? <laughs> Okay. Get but that. since Limelight joined later on, why don't you say what else you did in Texas? Oh, okay. So what did we do? The Houston Mega Ride, which was pretty epic, day to night. Then we went to, uh, at nighttime, we went to We Code It. But during the day, there were so many people wheeling. And uh, if you guys been watching my Instagram or just watching the channel lately, you guys know I've started getting a little bit better at wheelies on the Super 73. So I felt inclined to join and uh, did wheelies all around Houston, had a blast. And then Dylan and I woke up super early the next day, went to the Electrify Expo in Austin, Texas, hung out with a bunch of different brands. We had a blast. And then after that, was it the same night we went that I went to uh, Kill Tony? The next night, you the were next, so tired. Yeah, the next night, oh yeah. It's, the whole trip, I don't think I, I, I slept more than like three to four hours a night. It was insane. Went and saw Kill Tony. Uh, that was pretty epic. My first comedy show ever. Um, then the day after that, or two days later, we went to the... Thursday night. Thursday night, we went to the Secret Show. My second comedy show ever. And both shows were so freaking epic. There was so many awesome people there. The first night... Uh, the, uh, the person that stuck out to me, of, of course, the most was Steve-O was there. And then, um, yeah, just all the comedians were awesome. A lot of fun. Red Band, thank you so much for the invite. If you are watching right now, the hospitality in Texas is for real. It's for real. Everybody in Texas is awesome. Really nice. Saron, Texas did such a good job of putting together the whole Houston Mega Ride. Like they had food yeah. from the time they got there. They had like lunch, dinner, mm -hmm. like it was just planned out really nice. And then at the We Code It, which was really cool, they had like people cooking tacos and actually like um, some kind of Asian food. They had grills out there and they were cooking. It oh, was cool. so cool. Did yeah. you try it? It was all, no, I didn't. I, I tried a one wheel GT though while <laughs> everybody was grubbing. I was like, yo, let me try that thing out. I've never seen one in person. Tried it out, it was pretty cool. Gibdo said, Struggling with, my sh with Stratty is my favorite spin off show. Uh, Manchild BW, now selling my Super 73 Malibu. How many miles do you have on it? Junior D, step in and show him how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm just not paying attention. I'm like, Kim just said I didn't notice the skeleton on the couch spooked the life out of me. <laughs> He's just hanging out. He hangs out at some, on some of our streams, you know. Okay, so Manchild said his super has 1,000 miles. That's pretty good. That's a, that's a, lot, of, a lot of fun miles, all right? What else are you going to get, Manchild? There's tons of e-bike links below. <laughs> Check out Shardy's videos. Y'all might find a bike you like. Gibdo, did Dylan smell like an arcade carpet? What? <laughs> like an arcade carpet. That's I don't I don't know what that means. <laughs> you guys know I could be loosening up loosening it up, but I just tend to beat it to the side, you know. Fifties cap. That's an odd neck there. The downward stress of the bars is on the gap. The downward stress of the bars is on the gap. Mind the gap. We'll see. Well, do you guys think I should jump this thing and see how much <laughs> it can handle? I'm going to jump it regardless. Toad Boy just checked out their website and the bikes don't look bad. Price point currently seems decent. Top speed is reasonable. 28. But I don't know, like the torque sensor. I'm, I'm interested to see what this whole torque sensing uh, phenomenon is all about. And I want to see what this... Uh, Battery with a light is all about, too. Oh, yeah. I got to find the keys. Here they are. You'll have to test the bike when you do your first ride and review video. Like, test it at night so we can see the light on the battery. I see the light. Like, test a little bit. I mean, I'll turn it on now just so you guys can check it out. Manchild, the storm shock by E-Straps. I think you were telling us about that before. Oh, I tried to P... So you guys have been telling me to try this P51 bike. I tried that thing out. And it's all the components of pretty much the Suron. It felt like a, 
like a Sur on e-bike, but it was like super light. So like the shocks felt even more bouncy. It felt, it felt pretty awesome, but it had a, I think it was like a 750 watt motor. And I didn't, I, I tried to wheelie it, but I couldn't get it up. Uh, I mean, it, I couldn't wheelie it. <laughs> Okay, that, that's what Manchild's getting the storm shock by e straps. Okay. Fifties cap said you have to go sniff your local arcades. You can compare. <laughs> my, I'll have to ask Dylan about that one. My friend's dad got big into the arcade thing when it was popular, like when the malls started having like the arcade game pits and stuff. And then I think he sold it to Namco. He made a lot of money. <laughs> lots and lots of money. Eddie, you should give a shout out to Megan's dad. He watches your channel. Oh, is he watching live? Mr. Helmick, if you're watching live, big shout out to you. <laughs> Come ride e-bikes with us. <laughs> Let's see if that's, that's JR13 said, nice bike. Here, I'll back up so you guys can see the bike. Thank you, JR. Even though I broke the, the display. Toad boy, I feel like fat tire e-bikes are more throttle e-bikes for the most part, so the torque sensor isn't as important to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I just want to see what it feels like and like, does it really feel better like pedaling uphill with a torque sensor or, or what? Let me tighten up this guy and the little pinch bolts. Make sure that stem is a little bit tight and then pinch bolts next. You should just throw that box out the back door. Okay. <laughs> I'll just do it. Throw it I'll, out there. I'll do it. Doesn't scratch up the floor. Oh yeah. Am I moving? Was I moving it just now? Sorry. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it beaten. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's laughing at me right now. And then pinch bolts. How, how many newton meters do you guys think the, the, the stem should be? How many newton meters? What are you doing now? Tightening the pinch bolts right now so, so the, the handlebars don't turn when I'm trying to flip the bike upside down to put the tire or the wheel on. Loon said, Shreddy, what do you think Gen 2 Gladiator 60 Endurance 60AH Suron battery or Gen... Ooh. I saw, I saw them in person. AH. I don't know what to do or wait for the uh, Gen 2 60 Max. Yeah, they're, they're still like, I think they said they're trying to get like the fitment right. Uh, but yo, the, the Gen 2 looked awesome in person. Like all the stats right there. Dude, that thing looked awesome. And it being encased in metal was just so cool. Loon, use this Chai Battery uh, discount link in the description below if you get a Chai and Battery. it's Black Friday too, man. Whoo. There we go. All right. I'll keep the keys on there for now. Uh, flip the bike upside down. Get the wheel on. Get the pedals on. Get, get your pedal on. JR13, it's a workout because the harder you push, the faster it'll go. I'm too lazy for all that. <laughs> I love that because I love being able to work out on a bike. I don't know what the rear brake is, and I don't know if they got a, yeah, they got a blocker in it. Oh, don't hit the. I didn't hit it, did I? I don't think so. Good. I need to back up. There we go. Good thing I got the display out of the way. I'll still turn it on. Watch it like start popping and walking. 50s cap. Shelf should have brought his Huck to Texas. He actually sold a Huck and he's got a new bike. He's got a, a Super 72 volt. And supposedly it's very, very fast. 50s cap. You know Shreddy has a Huck too, right? <laughs> Link below. Right now, um, it's out of commission because the front bearings are freaking blown. I think they just over-tightened it and they put the, the wheels on. Toadboy said, I think the programming will be very important. For EMTBs, you want the pedaling to feel very natural and not super jumpy because that's dangerous on tight trails. Okay. I still got to get like a suspension. I need to learn how to like tune suspension to like my... Wait. So you're gonna put the front tire on now? Yep. So this one's actually, uh, if you remember, 
it's a quick release, just like the other bikes. And uh, so you do get to pull this little guy out before you get it in there. I'm just gonna place it right in the brake pad. Hopefully get that wide enough. Boom, boom, boom. When you're turning the bike, give this a don't hit Mr. Bone Shreddy. <laughs> there we go. 50s no, cap, tell there. me you didn't roll over that display. <laughs> Dude, that looks so bad, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Whoopsies. That looks nice. The tires look so nice and like black and shiny in person. I don't know if you guys well, can see, see I, that. I mean, I hope that's not, that doesn't make it slippery on the road. I'm kind of guessing no. that stuff will wear off as I ride on the road. Yeah, it's probably just because they're new. Mm-hmm. Okay. Goes there. I'll screw here. Gibdus at Shreddy is the library of Alexandria, but for e-bikes. Dude's <laughs> got affiliate links for everything. <laughs> got affiliate for all of it, brother. <laughs> um, also, if you guys are looking for any kind of uh, accessories for your e-bikes, I do got... I do have that uh, Amazon links. Just check out all my- Any link to buy. Anything, anything you, you need. Black Friday on Amazon. Any of his Amazon links. Like, I never know how exactly tight these should be. Like, should I tighten it to where it just stops? And then, oh, that feels like way too tight. I'm always weirded out by quick releases, guys. How tight should he make it? Mm. <laughs> there you good. Kim just said those tires look nice and round. They do look nice. Yeah, they do. All right, let's get the pedals on and we'll flip it upside down and we'll, we'll see if the display works or if it catches our house on fire. Oh, great. 50s cap, did you say Super 72? <laughs> yep. <laughs> the Super 72 volt. Limelight images. Okay, off topic, but does anyone name their bike? Hmm. I think the only the only uh, vehicles I've named were my one wheels, but maybe I should name my uh, my bikes. The only electric thing he's named is our like room bot <laughs> vacuum. <laughs> Ankle biter. Ankle biter. <laughs> it was a night stalker for a little bit. Actually, he might still be night stalker. Ankle biter. <laughs> you named your right. one wheels. This is the left set. All right. What did you name your one wheels? Uh, zombie Tank and Zombie Tank Jr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, wasn't your first bike that was an e-bike also called Zombie Tank? Or just no, it was it called Sergeant like, Stomper. It looked something. like a Zombie Tank. Yeah, it had it had it already had a name. It was pre-named. You need to make that into an e-bike. Damn, that felt smooth. That felt smooth. Um... What are your guys' bike names? Leave them in the comments. Yeah, whoever gets the coolest bike name gets a hug from Shreddy. <laughs> 50s cap. Couple slices of stale bread will soak that tire shine right up. Actually, should I have like um I should do a poll on YouTube to see like what what bike name's the best. Like somebody come up with a good bike name in this live and then we'll we'll name bikes. We'll name our bikes. I need a good name for for the Ron for sure. Awesome, a quick release lever should leave a mark on your hand when you close it. A mark on, oh, okay. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Let me tighten it up a little more though then. Just a little. Limelight images. My Left surround... a mark on my hand, there we go. It did? Yep, is that good? Are you okay? Oh, he <laughs> <laughs> <It> hurt. <laughs> Limelight said his surround name is Orange Crush and my Super 73 is Big Blue. That's awesome. Dig it, dig it. I like orange crushes. Oh, I gotta straighten the bars. Crepe fruit crushes. I'm flip it upside down. Uh, where's my other pedal? Toad Boy, know. here comes basic e bike names Green Machine, Speed Demon, Patricia. <laughs> that's, that's my mom. Yeah, these moms. So my mom's last name's Johnson and her middle name's Ann. So she had us make her email address. So we made it Pat A. Johnson <laughs> at gmail.com. Oh my God, everybody's gonna be emailing her now. 
<laughs> and I was with her the other day when she was like buying something and they asked for her email and she said it out loud at the store and I was just like <coughs> laughing. Pat uh, Johnson. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Like she doesn't even realize. <laughs> Ultima okay. said, Lake Tractor. Oh, it's French. D, I don't know how I'm going to flip this upside down without hitting the couch. Um, can you feel, flip it like this way towards me? Oh, struggling. Hold on. It's heavy? No. Hold on. Uh-oh, it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. You guys are waiting for me to fail. Whoa. Whoo. All right. Whoa, this thing is pretty beefy. Well, it feels like about like maybe 80 pounds, something like that. I took that <laughs> off because it's, I was like, it's why pretty much like already off. off. <laughs> but where's the power button? I'm scared to actually like turn this on with this like this. Okay, then let's not just wait for your first run review. <laughs> turn on Yeah, they just got to send me. I'm going to unhook them. I mean, how do you even... Um, we got the splay. Oh, it's on and not catching on fire. Yeah, it looks like everything's still hooked up, but it just came undone. Yeah, it just came undone. That's a headlight. I'm shipping. Is the, is the light bright? Oh, <laughs> it works. Okay. Let me <laughs> just turn the bike off. I'm, I'm scared of the display, like being broken like that just sit on it jr13 said biscuits should be the name of one of his bikes biscuits <laughs> that's a good one whichever one has the softest seat gibdo shreddy shredder for the run oh they said you should call it shreddy shredder shreddy shredder heck yeah 50s cap i call my s2 old backbreaker <laughs> no suspension on the rear I still got to turn down the handlebars a little bit. Lynn's laughing. Gibda said that bike looks like the Terminator from Terminator 2. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it, it looks good. Suspension feels all right. Feels all right. I just got to get the, a new display and then, then we're good. Let me get this kickstand down and I'll get the, the battery off and let's see how that lights up. Do we have a knife knife? Hey. 50s cap. Got some good travel on those shocks. And I guess you can lock them out, just like any other. Whoa. <laughs> Was I moving stuff? Sorry. The house is shaking. <laughs> Neighbors are probably like, what the heck are you guys doing over there? All right. I'll just cut the display off then. <laughs> Keys. All right, we're going to take the battery off now, guys. Let's see. Does it, it looks like it comes out the, oh, what are you doing, dude? There we go. Loon said, I'm gonna call that bike the T-1000. <laughs> so Eddie, what is Dig this it. bike again for people? This is the Havsko Hav Alpha Step Over bike. So it's like a electric mountain bike, like with like big fat tires, like beachy. And what big are the features? Beach tires. And it does have a torque sensor. So it's a 750 watt motor. Uh, darn it. It's got a 48, on the web. what the heck? It's got a 48 volt, uh, 20 amp hour battery. I was trying to figure out how to take out that battery so I can show you. This thing supposedly has a light built into it. I think this has a switch here, there we go. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna crush me. There we go. Oh, look at that little light strip. And how do we turn it on? There you go. Oh, wow. So That's pretty cool. That shine at night. So it just looks white to them. Show them again. It's a bright light. How does it look on the back? Whoa. Oh, it actually does different things. Whoa. So it has three levels of brightness and then a flash mode. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's got a party mode, guys. So that shines like out of the bottom? That's cool, I like that. Does it look like a party in here? All right, I'm going yeah. blind. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that, that's awesome. All right, so that's a Havsko Hav Alpha e-bike. If you guys are interested, check out that link 
down below. I'm not sure what their deals are for Black Friday just yet, but um, I guess I'm gonna be doing a review on this thing uh, after we get it, the display all fixed. <laughs> so it looks like I gotta disconnect some stuff and uh, we'll get a new display sent to us and we're gonna take this out on some trails, kinda hit some jumps with it and we're gonna see what this thing is all about and then who said something about, they think that that might be a weak point, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. And then definitely stay tuned for the Houston Mega Ride vlogs, uh, the, what else? Uh, Electrify Expo, hanging out with Dylan, going to the comedy specials, uh, hanging out in, in Houston, just all that awesome trying stuff. Trying the fastest Sauron. Trying the fastest Sauron. Tried a few different awesome bikes out there. Uh, met some awesome people. I will be traveling a lot more uh, coming up soon, I think February, going somewhere. Uh, just trying to trying to stay out of the cold in the warm. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of cool stuff coming up, guys. So, uh, more unboxings coming, I think, tomorrow um, or the next day. Let's see how we feel. We've been working our butts off, guys. Um, we do have that new, uh, the Frigo uh, in green. Let's see what that thing's all about. And then we have the Angway folding e-bike. And then we also have something called a Van Powers. And I think it's just like another like mountain bike type deal. I'm not sure if it has a torque sensor like this one. But we're going to see all about that and see what we think about it. So if you guys... Uh, Ever, you guys do want to support the channel, just check out all those links down below. Check out the link for the Hav Alpha, this crazy uh, mountain bike type deal. Um, there's no codes for this, but uh, if you guys aren't interested in the Hav Alpha or any bike from Havsco, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Any questions? I see uh, no, laughing. we just have some, uh, just some extra comments. Go ahead. Toe Boy said, Going 28 on fat tires feels really solid. What a battery with a, a, a light. It's a party light. <laughs> Loon said, love the forks. Can I put that on my Suron? It looks like Suron nah, forks. Nah, probably not. <laughs> you, need, you need some beefier forks Give just said, the run for sure. Give just said, it's always a party mode when it's shreddy and D. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gibda. Toeboy said, I'll turn on notifications. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Gibda said, my Palm Pilot lets me know when shreddy uploads. And JR13 said, don't forget to like, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have a notification bell. I'm surprised that this didn't come with a little ding ding. Um, anyways, <laughs> there's not a notification bell. So that's going to be the end of this unboxing. If you guys enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and ringing that notification. Pretend there's a bell in your room ding, or maybe ding, you guys ding. have a, some ding dings going on. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and ring that notification and bing bing bing. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. Thank you guys for joining. And maybe we'll do another live tomorrow, maybe at seven, not this late. But you guys rock. Thank you.